Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil and today I want to share just a couple things with you uh, that I think may encourage you. Um, I received a, a text from a friend this morning and she just shared something with me that uh, compelled me to, to share what I'm going to share. Uh, okay, so the first thing is a dream I was given just a couple days ago and in this dream I was um, with a man by the name of Mark who I felt symbolized John Mark the, the disciple and we were helping my sister whose name is Mary uh, get her child out of the hospital and so I, I felt the Lord was showing me that that dream was symbolic of uh, Mary's is symbolic of Israel and uh, John Mark who is I believe symbolic of God's grace John meaning God is gracious um, that you know we are through God's grace the, the body of Christ is helping Israel to um, repair her damaged faith in, in Messiah I believe that child the name Mary actually means wished for child and uh, so I believe that that we are here to help Israel while we're on the earth church to uh, repair her faith and um, in in Jesus in Messiah okay so then um, and I think it's really important because the church rapture is actually going to mark the beginning of the time God deals with his people Israel so you know yeah we're excited to go but we should really be praying for Israel because this is going to be a very difficult time for them um, it's an exciting time they are going to come into their faith in the Lord uh, but it is going to be a time of trial and testing for them uh, so as we prepare for our departure, let's be praying for Israel um, and, and just ask God to give them, you know, grace and strength uh, to heal her and to help her come into her faith in Messiah, Jesus. Okay, so the second thing is, um, okay, the dream that I was given last week that I shared, uh, you know, about, I felt like the Lord was showing me a time of our departure. And so a friend of mine shared with me that that very night when she watched that video, okay, she said she went to bed and she was given a vision, okay, and she, what she saw in all bold was June 7 for three hours straight. And so I, uh, I asked her what she felt that meant. She did feel that meant, you know, the time of, of the rapture. You know, which I shared in my last video. I do believe the body of Christ is meant to know the timing of the rapture. Um, you know, that no man knows the day or the hour. The when Jesus was having that conversation with his disciples, the church hadn't even been born yet. And, uh, of course, we know the mystery of the rapture was only revealed to the Apostle Paul years later. Okay, so Jesus was not talking about that. He was talking about his second coming, which is a separate event, seven years after the rapture. Okay? So, but again, that June 7, I just kept thinking about, like, what could that mean? And so I was just doing a search on YouTube just to see if anybody had shared any significance about that date. And what I learned, I found uh, Brother Barry Scarborough had put a video out about a couple months ago. And it was about June 2017, the significance of that time. Well, he actually shares that June 7th, was the time Israel took back Jerusalem, June 7th, 1967. Okay, and he just added like 49 Gregorian years, which of course takes you to June 7th, 2016, uh, as the beginning of the Jubilee year, the 49th year. And then of course, the completion of that would be June 7th of 2017. So again, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. Everything we share, whether you know it's a dream a vision you know we always have to take these things to the Lord okay our human bias as Barry Scarborough talks about all the time can get in the way we can we can misunderstand things we can misinterpret things you know just like the disciples who were looking for a physical kingdom expected Jesus to set up his physical kingdom but it was a spiritual kingdom so we, we have to as we receive information whether it's a dream or a vision you know date information Take it to the Lord, okay, and make sure, you know, that you are listening for His confirmation, all right? 
And so, um, you know, when I shared that dream, you know, I, I didn't share the timing I, I was shown because I didn't feel that's important. And I don't feel it's important. What I feel is important is that we're ready. You know, I, I do believe that the rapture uh, will probably take place on a, on a specific time, you know, set aside by God. Uh, but I, I, there's a large part of me that believes it could be imminent, that it could be at any time. So um, I feel as the body of Christ, we, we shouldn't really be looking for a specific time, but a timing, a season. You know, and I, I believe we are in that season. And, and we should all, you know, be waiting and ready and watching. Uh, for the Lord. So anyway, um, oh, one other thing, you know, Jesus gave us a very specific uh, hint as to the time when the Gentile church would be fulfilled, you know, and we, we are looking for that time because we know that that will mark the time of the rapture, the time the church is removed. And in Luke 21, 24, Jesus said, Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles is fulfilled. And June 7th, 1967 was the date that Israel took back Jerusalem from the Gentiles. So it's a significant time. Uh, I believe it marked the beginning of the fulfillment of that prophecy where Jesus said, you know, that that would mark the time. It had to do with Jerusalem being taken back by Israel. You know, we saw that come to fulfillment. Um, and now we're seeing a completion of the 50 years, you know, which I believe Paul gave us some very uh, specific time to be watching with the, the, the first fruits, comparing the church to first fruits, uh, the completion of the barley harvest, which we're in that season of Pentecost. Okay, so I just think there's, there's a lot of things pointing to uh, the, the season that we are in, prophecies that have come to fulfillment or are coming to fulfillment. So anyway, let's just be watching church. Let's not get caught up or hung up on specific dates, but let's just be ready, watching for our Lord. And as always, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.